the political response to COVID-19's arrival was actually worse than Reagan's choice to ignore AIDS. On January 2, 2020, the director of the CDC contacted the National Security Council to warn about early cases of the coronavirus in China and the potential that it could spread to the United States. Yet when President Trump's first televised remarks came three weeks later, he said, we have it totally under control. It's one person coming in from China and we have it under control. It's going to be just fine. Warnings by scientists were soon termed a hoax. The disinformation campaign that followed mattered gravely because COVID-19, a respiratory illness, was a broader threat to the general public than HIV ever was. Unlike with HIV, we watched our healthcare infrastructure become overloaded by persons with COVID and thousands of healthcare workers die. Yet our experience of this pandemic will not be shaped by any activist group attacking the healthcare system or its governing institutions. After all, the NIH and its pharmaceutical company collaborators developed miraculous vaccines with astounding speed and hospital workers did the best they could. What more fundamental changes will follow the COVID-19 moment as they did in the decades after HIV?